Hi, Debbie here with another Debbie George here. Welcome back. I'm here with another opinion video. And this time it's on swirling. Swirling is interracial dating, uh, specifically with um, black women or black men dating non-black women and men. And a lot of times, particularly um, black women dating white men, black men dating white women. Now, I'm, I've been through the uh, manosphere, and there's different opinions on this. Now, I, now, my opinion is that it's perfectly fine. As um, long as it's looking at the person, a heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul connection, um, then it's perfectly fine. As long as you're looking at the person, and you have the same standards across the board, no matter what race. Now, where the black manosphere um, doesn't approve of this, um, David Carroll... Um, a queasy 100 brother logic common sense is when black women have such low standards they have high standards when they're dating black men but just low standards when they're dating um, men outside the race especially white men and a lot of times they're taking men who are homeless um who have prison records or just out of prison um who have um drug addiction and um you know they're just crazy um um asphyxiated and obsessive over a man's skin color and you know they just want to have a child with him want to have a mixed child and um that's dysfunction no that's wrong 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 the same the same standards they have for black men need to have for white men or any other men of any other race and um brian solange i look at my, my notes brian solange he's against race mixing all together but then um, um i need to ask him if a person can't find a, a good mate uh, especially when they get married, have children, have a lifelong mate in their own race, then, you know, then I think it's okay to look outside the race. You know, they don't want to be alone. They want to have a companion, a lifelong companion. And they want to find the right person. A lot of times it's not the person in their own race, no matter what color. Now, um, now Tito, now he sees that it's different between black men and women um, dating outside the race because black men don't call it swirling. Like GW3 Extreme. Um, he doesn't call it swirling, and Tito doesn't call it swirling because they're looking at the woman, the person. And they don't use that title. I don't use that either. But they both know that when it's a black woman, she just focuses on swirling, obsessed with it. Um, they have communities and groups just obsessed with dating outside their race, especially with a white right person. And they focus too much on race. They just focus too much on instead of looking at the heart of a person. And David Carroll, now he's... He looks at it both ways. He says if a woman just happened to um, fall in love with a guy and don't even mention his race, you won't even know the guy's race until you meet him. And he said that's fine because she's just looking at the person. She's just trying to find a person to be with. Now, he, he against this whole swelling movement where they're obsessed over race and they're just, you know, go crazy over someone over their own race. They're like, that's so silly. We're all human beings. And so, you know, I agree with um, the black manosphere on that, but they're just... Um, just overlooking the what a person really is, and they just see it as some of the status symbol or just arm candy, and that's objectifying a person. That's wrong. That's wrong. And also, if a, um, a person of another race, especially a, a white man, he's doing that. He's objectifying the woman. You should look at the heart and soul of a woman, and not be so concerned with race. I mean, people just too obsessed with that stuff in 2019, almost 2020. That's ridiculous. People been interracial dating. You know, it's been doing legally, you know, for like 40 years. That's ridiculous. In all states. To finally get rid of those laws. I think it's anti-miscegenation laws. Something like that. But um, I feel, you know, it's perfectly fine. As long as you look at the heart and soul of a person. Don't obsess over their skin color. Um, see, I grew up in mixed neighborhood, mixed school. So, you know, had friends of, you know, different races. So, it's no big deal to me. I mean... People who make a big deal out of it, you can tell they grew up in a very isolated way. Now to be around, not being around different types of people, different types of cultures, um, you know, they're in that black box, so to speak. And so they're just obsessed with that. You know, they think it's so weird and strange. They think it's something fresh and new and it's no big deal. You know, we're all human beings. So I think it's silly to focus on that. I think it's silly to call it swelling. I think the swelling community is silly. You know, we're just human beings just trying to find a connection in this world because it's so hard to find a connection in or outside your racial ethnic group. It's hard to find a good connection. People, you know, have good conversation, have same goals and desires and dreams and on that same life path. 
So that's my opinions on swirling and so-called swirling. And um, I'm against that. I'm just against people. I'm just for people just looking inside of a person, the heart of a person, and the character of a person. Really focus on that. Don't focus on anyone's race. So I'm here. I just got out of um, the Y. Did a nice aqua workout, 30-minute aqua workout, and um, 25-minute on cardio. So um, that's my spin on this whole thing. You know, it's been a big deal, you know, in the in the black sector of YouTube, even in white sector YouTube. Because this one guy, um, it was, I can't remember his name, but he was a white guy. And he said he went on a date with a black woman. And she was just fawning over him and just praising him. He says, you don't deserve all that. He's just a regular dude. I mean, she was just hyping him up too much. It made him feel uncomfortable. I mean, she was just acting too weird. Just just getting all hyped and um, just praising him too much just because of his skin color. She was just mesmerized by someone's skin color. And women, don't do that. That's stupid. Black women, don't do that. Um, you make yourself look stupid. Don't be, um, just because if you date someone in another race, don't be so, um, blown over by their skin color or they're in another ethnic group or another culture. You know, just, you know, learn from their culture. They can learn from yours and just have real good conversation and, and keep race out of it. Good grief. So that's my two cents on that. I just had to um, weigh in on that and looking at videos about this for years. So thank you so much for watching, um. Um, subscribe, like it, like this video, uh, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.